Are you ready for some Procreate fun? Well, let's jump in! Hi and welcome to my YouTube series. My name is Brenda Bakker and I'm from the Netherlands. I'm working currently on a series on the alphabet based on the book Alphabet Brush Lettering for Everybody by the Dutch Carla Campus. It's a lovely book which gave me a lot of different uh, styles of, for each letter of the alphabet. So today we're going to create this one. Uh, I've been using my uh, watercolor paper, but you can use, use it on any canvas you like. I've been uh, writing with my messy brush pen, but also for that you can use your own uh, pen if you like. And I've been playing around with the Nicker Roll brush, which can be found on the painting section uh, in your brush library from... It's a Procreate native brush, so everybody can do this. And I also add some, uh, added some white little dots on top. This is my own brush, but you can find a lot of dotted brushes uh, of your own. So let's get started. So for this one, I'm working on my watercolor canvas again, uh, which is free provided in my Skillshare classes. And my BB Messy brush pen, also free in some of my classes. Um, for this letter I've been choosing the letter R from the book and this is one uh, which directly got my attention because I think it's a happy and cheerful letter, capital letter R. And so I have my pencil at a rather large size, like 40-42% and I will make a downstroke in which I will start with holding my pencil at the place and give it a quick uh, downstroke with a rather lot pressure. So hold my pencil down and go down. Slightly lifting off my pencil here so I will have a thinner part uh, at the bottom. And now I'm going to create a, a stroke which is thin, thicker and, and thinly about here. So like at this point. So there I will be touching it. It's about one fourth of the size of the stroke. So let me try if I can manage that to do that in one piece. So thin, thick, thin. Thin, thick, thin. I think this would look lovely. Maybe a little bit thicker. Let me try one more time. Thin, thick, thin. Yeah, this one I like more so we can see the color inside that uh, way better. And on a new layer I'm going to make the curl stroke because maybe I have to do it for several times so okay, I can easily delete that one or give it another one. I think this is a little bit too thick. Too thick. I think this one is fine. Yep. I think I'm going to keep it like this, so let's merge them together and uh, let's have some fun with this one. Let me center it a little bit more, choose snapping, so here's in the middle, looking for the cross, the golden cross, and now I know it's exactly in the middle. And then I'm going to get rid of my snapping tool because otherwise it will bother me in what I'm going to do later. And for now, I'm going to select this one and create a new layer on top. You have seen me do that a lot of times before and get rid of the pixels here, but I still have the selection. So you can still, still see the shape of this letter. And now I'm going over to your nickel roll brush, which is in artistic, I may know, in painting. In painting, the nickel roll, I have it set on its opacity at 68%. And my size I will uh, is now at 18%, but I will uh, make some changes to it. And I'm going to choose some lovely and bright colors. Nickel rule, yes, and the layer above. So let's start out with a green. Um, because my watercolor paper is a little bit darken, uh, darkening the colors, I will be choosing some lighter colors, but they will appear darker and brighter. So let's just randomly make some strokes with it. And make a variation in harder pressure and softer pressure. So there you can see a lot of funny things happen. And now I'm going to change uh, some colors. Uh, so let's choose orange. And you know it's darkening the color because of my canvas. 
and we can vary with it with a lot of pressure. Just randomly color on top. And it doesn't matter if you don't see the colors uh, anymore. Well, not too much, but it's okay to overlap them because that will bring much more joy. And let's give him some yellowish look. And just randomly go over them until you have filled the whole canvas with some color. So what we're going to do now is create a new layer on top and put on a clipping mask. And let's get rid of the selection tool now. So what we're going to do, I'm going to create some new colors in the same way we did here uh, on top of the pixels in this colored layer. But it will also, uh, because it's on the clipping mask, it will not be visible, but it's also outside of the layer. So let me see. So for now, I will show you. Uh, I'm going to take a blue color, a grayish blue. So now I'm on the clip mask layer. So if I make a large stripe, you see the whole stripe is there, but it's only visible at the pixels of the layer below. So we're going to make random huge, huge stripes. And when I do it softly, it will become yellow, uh, greenish on the yellow. And if I press harder, you will see the blue. So we can vary in it all the colors. And let's create some pink. Um, so some softer lights and bigger and harder. So we get a different variety. And use complementary colors. That's what I like most. So orange and blue next to each other is fantastic. Well, let's create another new layer on top and also put that on a clipping mask. And still you can see the shape. Maybe you can see, can you see it? It's all over the letter, but it's only visible here. And that's what we're going to need. So we're, let's do this again for some orangey colors. Not too much above the pink, not too much on the, on the blue as well. And if we don't like it, we can always go back and ch make changes. I especially like the blue, so I go back to the blue and create some more bluish colors. And if you can look closely, you can see all different kinds of colors and shape looking. So what we're going to do now is we can check and play with some things. So let me see if we get this layer off. We get a totally different color which is very cheerful and bright. This one has more yellow in it. And if we get rid of this layer, the, the pink and blue, you can see it's almost no uh, blue anymore. I think I truly like this one. But what we can do now is because it's uh, a lot of color on a lot of layers, we can uh, make some changes by, let's take this layer for example. We can move the shapes around. Do you see it happening? So it's only visible on the R, but we can play. And so we get total different shapes and colors visible. And that's because we made a big, large layer without, oh, without um, the selection. So it's all over the letters. I can also play with this one a little bit. So we can make changes and let's create new colors. Wait for it, I will zoom in. So if I place some yellow, sorry, if I place some yellow over the blue, you will get a greenish look or red above a blue makes it more purplish. So we can play a lot with that. So play and, and move until you like the colors. And um, maybe on a new layer, we can play along and add some yellow, white dots. 
Mm, let me see. If you've got my fine dots somewhere, you can play with them. Am I on a new layer? Yes, make sure it will be clipping mask because maybe you want to change the background and you don't want to have the dots on the background either. Uh, so clipping mask here and just play it randomly with some dots and voila you have an artistry and fun and cheerful looking letter R and maybe we can play some more with that. Um, what should I do? If we put this on will it be visible right through? Yes. It's also funny, but it's not uh, what I want for this part. So let's duplicate this layer and make this one a bright white one. So it will be select and fill layer. So we have a black shadow underneath, but not visible because we have a white opaque underneath that. So we can make some changes. Oh, right. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. I'm going to duplicate this one also. And now I'm going to move the back, uh, the black one at the back. So let, like this. And also uh, moving this white one also, but a little bit. So I think that would look funny. So now we have, uh, I will explain. This is my basic layer now. And it's opaque white, so the black underneath won't shine through. Then I have a white layer which is removed away, so I can make this uh, outer line uh, white. And underneath that there is a black layer, so I only have this visible because I moved it a little bit. And on top of that we have our um, colored layers, which we've played a lot with, and the white dotted layer is on top. So I hope you like this letter and this, let, uh, this episode, and uh, I hope you will have fun with this technique, and see you in the next uh, episode. <laughs> bye bye! Thank you for watching this episode until the very end. If you like this video and think I've earned it, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. More detailed tutorials can be found on Skillshare. These and all other links can be found in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!